go, Julianne. Okay, let's come into a comfortable seated position with a nice tall spine. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. I thought we might start off with um, a little bit of pranayama breathing for balance and then we'll do a heart opening yoga asana and then we'll have a lovely restorative yoga nidra to finish. So if you come into a comfortable position with your spine nice and tall and we're going to do a pranayama breathing. We've done this before. This is where we um, do alternate nostril breathing and it's really good for balance and good to clean out your, your lungs. So we'll, we'll come up bringing the two fingers, the pointing finger and the next finger to your forehead. And you've got your thumb on one side and your ring finger on the other side that can just touch onto your nostrils. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then we're gonna start off with um, putting our ring finger on the left nostril. Breathe in through the right. Hold the breath for a sec and then move your thumb to the right nostril and breathe out through the left. Then breathing in through the left. Pause, block that one off and out through the right. So that's one cycle. So breathing in through the right, block that off, pause and out through the left. Breathe in through the left, pause, and then unblock the right and out through the right. So continue on with that for a few more rounds. Just tuning into your breath. Softening your eyes. Just connecting. Do a few more cycles. And then finish off this cycle. And just take a few deep breaths. So let's begin our yoga practice with an OM. You can join me if you wish, but you don't have to. We bring our hands to Anjali Mudra, taking a big deep breath in, and then breathe out all that doesn't serve us. Another deep breath in. Oh. And then let's go to just stretching out from side to side. That's it. Just taking, exhaling as you go to the side. Inhaling to the middle and exhale to the other side. And coming back to center and taking your right hand behind you and left hand onto your right knee. Just looking over your right shoulder, taking a couple of breaths there, nice stretch for the bottom of the spine. And then inhale back to centre and exhale, go to the other side. So left hand behind, right hand on your left knee. 
looking over your left shoulder and taking a couple of breaths. And then coming back to centre and we'll take up a position of child's pose. So taking our knees wide apart, chest up nice and tall, and then walking your hands forward into child's pose. And we're gonna go down here for about six breaths. So your body might be a little stiff at the moment. So on each exhalation, allow your body to surrender a little more into the pose and gradually bringing your forehead down to the mat. Deep stretch, connecting with the legs and the lower back and the shoulders. Three more breaths here. And then when you've had your last breath, coming back up to all fours. And we'll do a couple of rounds of cat cow. So as you inhale, lift up through your chest and lift your gaze, getting a nice curve in your back. And exhale, drawing your spine up towards the ceiling and looking through your legs towards your feet and curling through the spine, getting some nice opening through each of the vertebra and continue to move with your breath. So exhale as you bring your spine up to the ceiling and inhale as you lift your chest and open up your heart. Imagine all the little spaces in your vertebrae, just giving them all a little bit of breathing space. A nice stretch through the back of the neck. And then coming back to neutral spine again. And we're going to do some thread the needles. So I'll just come front on. So we're going to start bringing our left hand a little bit towards the center of the mat. Take our right hand up to the ceiling and take your gaze with it. So you get a nice twist through the upper back. And then exhale as you draw that underneath the left arm, threading through the needle and hover there. Inhale, come all the way back up. Get a nice twist through the upper thoracic and exhale, drawing it down and extending through the hands, getting a nice stretch through the shoulder on the right side. And we go one more all the way up. And this time we're gonna bring our shoulder and our ear down to the mat and slide our left hand forward, getting a nice deep stretch through the right scapula. Let's stay here for six breaths. So relaxing into the stretch. On each exhalation, allow your body to surrender a little bit more into it. Two more breaths here. And then on your inhalation, come back up to neutral spine and we'll take it to the other side. So this time bringing the right hand slightly in, take the left hand up, follow it with your eyes up to the ceiling. Nice twist in the upper back and exhale as you thread it under the right arm. Hover, extend through the hand. Inhale, follow the hand with your eyes. And exhale, follow it all the way through and hover. Inhale, coming up. And on the exhalation, we're gonna take that shoulder and ear down to the mat and take our right hand forward, stretching through the scapula, this time on the left and relaxing into the stretch on each exhalation for six breaths.
two more breaths. And then inhale, come back up, up to tabletop. Okay, just moving your spine, it's in a circle, just getting some movement into your hips and your shoulders. And then bringing your hands forward, we're gonna come down into Sphinx pose. So here we have our, we're coming up onto our elbows, lifting our heart, squeezing our buttocks. Just taking a few breaths here, feeling a nice compression through the bottom of the spine, pushing the hips into the mat, squeezing your buttocks. And then coming back up. And this time we're gonna start off with our first downward dog for today. So opening up through our hands, curling our toes under and bringing our hips up. Walking our heels down to the mat, getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs and the shoulders as you walk your heels down to the mat, stretching through the calves as well. And then coming back down onto your knees, hands a little forward as you take your chest forward into an upward dog. And then exhaling, tucking your toes under into downward dog. I'll do a few more of these cycles. Just stretching out our body, warming it up. So inhale into upward dog and then exhale to downward dog. Just continue on for a few cycles. It's really warming up the spine. Feel free to rest at any time and just do what feels right for your body today. You can always rest in child's pose or savasana. And then when you come into your next downward dog, take your feet out wide, a little wider than the mat and walking your hands back towards your feet so your hands are directly under your body, bring your head, the crown of your head pointing down to the mat. And we'll stay here in this forward bend for about six breaths, allowing your body to really connect, connect with your breath, taking any tension away from your lower back, your shoulders and the back of your legs. Just tuning in as you inhale, and you exhale. A gentle inversion. Two more breaths here. And then slight bend in your knees. Inhale, bring your body all the way up and Bring your feet together. Nice. Let's do just a little, just give your shoulders a little roll through, just give your body a little shake. And we're gonna go into a warrior sequence. So we're gonna start with our, at the back of the mat, with our left foot slightly turned out. Step forward with the right foot. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift our arms, raise our chest and our gaze and bend our right knee. So the right knee is over the right ankle. Taking some big depth breaths here, lifting up your hands towards the ceiling. Embracing the stretch through the left hip flexor. Let's take two more breaths here. And then I want you to exhale, bring your hands down, straighten out the knee and bring the hands behind you. They can be straight up or you can clasp them. And then chest down towards the right leg and lifting the hands up. So you've got to stretch through the shoulder and the right back of the right leg. This is humble warrior. Let's take three more breaths here. 
firmly gripping the ground with your feet to help you balance. And then releasing your hands to the mat. And if you have a block, you might like to place a block next to your right foot and put your hand on it. And then we're gonna go into triangle pose. Inhale, lift up the left hand and take it up with your eyes up to the ceiling. Staying here for four breaths. And one more breath here. And then release the left hand to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Bring your hands all the way back up to Anjali Mudra. And then walking your feet back together at the back of the mat and we'll take it to the other side. So this time, right foot slightly turned out. Step forward with the left. Inhale, lift up your arms, bending the left knee, taking your gaze up to the ceiling, lengthening through the hands, and then connecting to the right hip flexor, nice stretch through the hip. Let's take three more breaths here. Exhale, bring your body forward, bring your hands down and you can have them at the side or behind you, clasp, lengthening out that left leg, bringing your chest down towards the leg, gazing towards the left big toe, lifting your hands up, stretching through the shoulders. Let's take three more breaths here and grip in the ground with your feet to help you with your balance, nice strong legs. One more breath. And then releasing your hands to the mat. This time you can have the block legs to your left foot. Put your left hand on the block or on the ground. Inhale, lift up the right hand and take your gaze with it all the way up to the ceiling into triangle. And let's stay here for three breaths. Opening up through the chest. And then releasing the hand as you exhale and inhale, come up to standing. Well done. Okay, let's take a couple of breaths and we'll go into our sun salute next. We'll do three rounds today. So we're gonna come to the top of our mat. Okay, hips and shoulders facing forward. Inhale, lift our arms and lift our gaze. Reach up to the ceiling and exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands down to the mat and then stepping back, your feet into high plank or you can take your knees to the mat into low plank, bending your elbows and slowly lowering your body to the mat. And then inhale, lift up through the chest, have the tops of your feet on the mat this time. And then exhale, take, turn your toes under, press up through the hips into downward dog. Take your gaze forward and step forward into forward bend. Inhale, lift up your chest and lengthen the spine. And exhale, draw your chest to your legs. And then inhale, come all the way back up. And back to Anjali Mudra. That's one round. We've got two more rounds. You can go at your own pace or you can come with me. So inhale, come all the way up. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, lift your chest, lift the gaze. And then exhale, just step back into your high plank and then slowly lower your body to the mat untuck your toes so the tops of your feet are on the mat inhale lift up into upward dog and then exhale toes under into downward dog that's it let's go at your own pace let your breath 
be the driver of the movement. And then take your gaze forward, step forward to a forward bend. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, tucking your chest into your legs. And then inhale, come back up. One more round to go. The body should be starting to move well now and warm up. You can rest this one or go for one more with me. So inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back into your high plank. And then exhale as you slowly lower your body to the mat. Inhale, lift up through the chest. And exhale, tuck your toes under into downward dog. Take your gaze forward. Bring your shoulders closer to your hands and then step forward. Inhale, lift the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the chest to your legs. And inhale, come all the way back up. Nice. Okay, just getting your breath back and have a little relax for a sec. We're going to go into some balancing poses next. We'll start off with, it's a variation on the tree pose. It's really good to stretch through the ITB part of your body. So open up the right foot, the right toes, and just move them around a little bit in a circle so that you feel like you're really grounded through that right foot. Have a slight bend in the right knee and then bring your left leg up in front of your body. Now, if you want, you can be close to something that you can hang on to or you can find your drishti point and slightly bend that right leg and slightly bring your chest forward till you feel a nice stretch through that between the hip and the knee on the left leg and bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. And let's stay here for six breaths. Chest up nice and tall. And then release. Well done. Some good balancing there. Give your legs a little shake and we'll go to the other side. So you may be a little better on this side or a little worse and just move your body around in that circle get really anchored through the left foot this time open the left toes out slight bend in the left knee and bring the right leg in front bend the left knee a little more and bring your chest a little forward so you feel that stretch and then bring your hands to Anjali Mudra and find your drishti point and we're going to be here for six breaths nice and release well done give your legs a little shake okay let's do one more challenging balancing pose we'll do our dancer pose we've been doing this this week so let's with our right foot open our toes out you might want to have something just in front of you that you can reach out to if you need to. So we're going to stand on our right foot and bend our left knee and bring our left foot into our left hand. And then we're going to reach out with our right hand, reach out forward and take our chest forward, stretching out, bringing the foot away from the body. So you get a nice stretch through the left thigh and reaching out through the right hand. Let's go two more breaths. And release. Well done. No fallovers today, which is good. Let's go to the other side, see how we go. So again, just have that place in front of you, if you in front of your left hand that you can reach out to if you feel a little bit unbalanced. So opening up the left toes, move the foot around a little bit, get really anchored and then bend the right knee, bring the foot up into your right hand 
get nice and balanced, find your drishti point. Slowly take your chest forward and your left hand out in front. Good, really stretching out, stretching the foot and the hand. Three more breaths. And last breath. Nice work, and then come back down. Well done, ladies. Okay, let's come down to a wide, very wide um, stance, lengthways on our mat. We're gonna inhale, lift up, and exhale, we're gonna fold forward, bring our palms of our hands down to the mat, and we can toe heel our feet out a little wider, take the top of our head, the crown of our head, have that pointing down towards the mat, into an inversion. We're going to stay here for six breaths. If you have a block, you could place the block underneath your head just to give you a little bit of support if you wish. You don't have to. Connecting with your breath again. And feeling that deep stretch down the back of your legs and the nice relief on your spine with the inversion, allowing the spaces in your vertebrae to just breathe a little more. Two more breaths. And then bring your hands a little closer together and toe heel your feet a little closer together. Inhale, come all the way back up. And hands back to Anjali Mudra. Okay, from here, we're gonna come down onto the mat, onto our backs. We're going to go into bridge position. So knees bent, feet on the floor. laying flat on her back just noticing the earth underneath your body underneath your feet and your hands your lower back your upper back and your head just connecting with your breath again and we're going to lift up our hips on the next inhalation take the hips up towards the ceiling squeezing through the buttocks and bring your hands over the top to the ground behind your head as you exhale, slowly lower your spine down like a chain and swim your hands out to the side and back to your hips. Let's continue on for five more cycles. So inhale, come all the way up, pushing through your heels, hands over the top, really big stretch through the shoulders and through the upper back. It's going at your own pace. Connecting with your breath. Thinking about opening up through the chest and the shoulders. Two more cycles. And then when you're finished, hugging your knees up into your chest. Just rolling your body, your lower back, rolling your knees in a circle direction. And then take it back in the counterclockwise. From here, we're going to place our right foot on the mat and our left foot across the front of the right leg. So, and then we're gonna draw our knees towards our chest. So at this point, you might pull your left shin towards your body, or you can reach through the gap in your legs and reach through to the right shin or the right thigh and draw that into your chest releasing any tension through the lower back this time. Let's take three more deep breaths here. 
This is called inverted pigeon pose. And then releasing your hands, bringing the right foot down to the mat. Take your hands straight out from your shoulders. Drop your knees towards the right and look towards the left. Keeping your, the back of your shoulders on the ground so you get a nice stretch through the front of your chest. Taking three deep breaths here. Connecting to the left side of the body, nice deep stretch all the way from the armpits down through the waist and the hips to the knee. And then inhale, bring knees back to center, uncross your legs. Put the left foot on the ground and then lift the right foot up and place that in front of the left leg and drawing the right shin towards your body or if you can, if you've got a little bit more room, you can reach through your legs towards the left shin or the left thigh. Hug that towards your chest. Taking three deep breaths. This stretches through from the hip to the knee on the right side, helping to release the glute and the lower back. One more breath here and then release your hands. Bring the left foot down to the mat, keeping the right leg still crossed. Arms out to the side and allow your knee to fall to the left side, looking to the right. Three deep breaths on each exhalation. Allow your body to twist a little further and a little deeper into the stretch. Feeling it from the chest all the way down the side of the right body right side of the body, down to the waist, the hips, and through to the knees. Then inhale, bring your knees back to center, hug them up to your chest, and you can rock backwards and forwards or circle, just releasing any tension that you might have in your lower back. And then we're going to come up to laying on our front on the mat. And we're going to do a little bit of stretching through our chest and our thighs. We're going to start with our hands on the mat, bending our left knee and reaching back with the left hand to the left foot. We're going to inhale, lift up our chest and draw the foot away from the body getting a nice stretch through the left thigh and the left arm. Just taking a couple more breaths here. And release the left hand and bring the left hand back down to the mat, bending the right knee and sweeping the right hand back to hold on to the right foot. We're going to inhale, lift up through the chest and draw the foot away from the body, getting a nice deep stretch through the right thigh, squeezing the buttock, lifting up through the chest. Couple more breaths. And then we'll bring your body down to the mat and we're going to go to both sides now. So bending the left foot, left knee. So you've got Left hand on the left foot, right hand on the right foot. And we're going to inhale, lift up through the chest, squeeze our buttocks. And as you breathe, you might feel yourself rocking a little bit backwards and forwards. So deep stretch through the lower back and the thighs. This is called boat pose. Really good heart opening, chest opening position and then release. Coming back into child's pose as a counter pose for that one. So we've just done a back bend and this is now a forward bend. So bring your buttocks down to your heels, chest up nice and tall, and then walk your hands forward. Bring your forehead down to the mat. 
taking a few deep breaths here, allowing your body to stretch out again after the back bends. And then coming onto your back, we're going to do our legs up next. So you might like to go next to a wall or a bed or whatever you have in your room, or you can place a bolster or a block underneath your lower back to lift your feet up, or you can come into supported shoulder stand, whichever works for you today. So we're gonna inhale, lift our legs up. So getting nice and comfortable here, just giving your feet a little bit of a shake so your legs feel nice and light. Just taking 10 deep breaths. If you've got your legs up the wall, you might like to take them out wide. If you're doing a supported shoulder stand, you might like to drop your feet over the head towards the floor behind your head into um, plow pose. If you have your feet up the wall, you might like to bring your soles of your feet together and knees out like a butterfly. So we have two more breaths. And then slowly lower your body down, back to the mat, into Savasana, laying on your back, ready for your yoga nidra. So laying on your back, you might like to put a bolster underneath your knees or you might like to bend your knees to support your lower back. Palms facing up. If you have an eye pillow, you can use that. So getting yourself really comfortable, you might have a blanket you could throw over you if you wish. Feeling the earth underneath your body, supporting you. Taking three deep breaths, relaxing your body. of the sounds in the distance, moving your awareness from sound to sound without attempting to identify the source of the sound. Be aware of your physical body lying in Savasana. Notice your alignment, your chin lower than your forehead your spine aligned, your arms close to the body, fingers away from the floor, as comfortable as possible. Become aware of your natural breath, keeping it completely spontaneous. Repeat your intention for your practice mentally three times with feeling. And rotate your consciousness around your body, starting with your right hand, thumb, forefinger, 
middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, back of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side trunk, hip, thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, top of your foot, bottom of your foot, toes, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Rotation of your consciousness to the left side of your body. Left hand thumb, forefinger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, back of your hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left side trunk, hip, thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, top of your foot, bottom of your foot, toes, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Check your awareness that you're still awake. Move your attention to the back of your body, heels, back of your legs, buttocks, back, shoulder, arms, hands, whole spine, neck, back of your head, crown of your head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, center of your eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, lips, chin, throat, chest, 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 abdomen, 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 pelvis, pelvis, pelvis. Become aware of your breath, counting back from 17 to zero.
checking your awareness that you're still awake. Awaken the feeling of warmth within your body. Your whole body is warm. Your legs are warm. Your arms are warm. Your whole body is warm. Now awaken the feeling of coolness in your body. Imagine your whole body is cool. Your feet are cool, your legs are cool, your arms are cool, your whole body is cool. Bring your attention and your awareness to the front of your closed eyes. Imagine the following objects as they are named. A sunrise, Full moon over the water. A rainbow. The sound of the rain. A turtle. An eagle. A beautiful garden, a clear blue sky, the lighting of a candle, and a beautiful red rose. Now is the time in your practice to repeat your intention three times. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Feel your body resting in Savasana, aware of the room that you're in and the surrounds, the floor, the ceiling, the sounds inside the room and outside the room. Recall the time of day and know that the practice of Yoga Nidra is coming to an end. I will chime the singing bowl once the practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Stretching out your arms above your head and stretching out through your legs, taking a couple of deep breaths. Scanning your body, seeing how you're feeling and scanning your mind, noticing any stillness in your mind and your body, gently rolling to one side. And when you're ready, come to a comfortable seated position. 
take a couple of deep breaths here, lengthening out through our spine. And let's bring our hands to Anjali Mudra. We'll take a deep breath in and then let go of all we don't need. Another deep breath in and then on to close the practice. Oh. Bring your hands to our forehead for kind thoughts and to our lips for kind words and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you for your lovely yoga practice today. Thank you all for being here.